What's up guys, it's Bradley Overrated bringing you what I hope to be my new and improved Overrated reviews and today we are reviewing the game Slime Rancher, a single player game where you ranch some slimes and I gotta tell you I fell in love with this game and my new formula it's just gonna make this straight to the point and let's just jump into it right now. So Slime Rancher is a game that is more than just a farming simulator as I discovered. You play as Beatrix. A female lady who left her family and friends to come to this different planet to become a slime rancher. And while, like I said, I thought this was just going to be a farming simulator game, I discovered that it is so much more than that because this game delivers you a bunch of stories, essentially through letters and notes that are left behind from either previous people that have explored these lands or from her friend Casey via the email process where you get to learn more about Beatrix's past and her past relationship with Casey. I did not expect this in this type of game. I thought it was just going to be the stereotypical, you harvest a bunch of things and then you sell those things to upgrade your ranch, which is in fact the core gameplay, but just the sheer fact that they included a story within the game, it just goes to show the amount of time and effort the developers put into it, and I really appreciate that. And when it comes to the core gameplay, it does in fact involve a lot of the stereotypical and standard processes for most farming simulator games, except for the whole fact that you're harvesting, for the most part, the poop from the most adorable freaking creatures ever, which are in fact the slimes, and I absolutely love these guys. They are adorable, and they will eat chickens, they eat fruits, and they eat vegetables. What's nice about this game is that all of three of those things are very unique. They have nice little twists to them. They're not just stereotypical carrots and apples and yada yada yada. They actually have specialty fruits that certain slimes will like and prefer over other fruits and stuff. So it's a nice, well thought out process of harvest, gathering, and selling. But to me what makes this game a lot more enjoyable is the sheer fact that instead of just stereotypical animals, you have a wide variety of slimes. And every single slime has something unique about them. For example, the boom slimes that you just saw on the screen actually go boom. And while they can damage you, it's just so cute to watch them jump around and explode and blow up one another. I absolutely love the variety of slimes in this game, and I think it's a really fun and addicting thing, especially when you go out into the world and discover a new slime for the first time. It is really cool. And then the whole point in ranching these slimes is to feed them so that they will poop. And you know, that's not a joke. They will poop out these things called plorts, which are basically shiny crystals that you can exchange for currency. You can use that currency to expand your ranch, open up new places, and even more so, you can upgrade your equipment, including your health and your stamina, and most importantly, your wicked awesome jetpack. Not only that, but for each slime you discover, you have this thing called the Slimepedia, which you can then use to learn more about each slime, as each slime has their own particular favorite type of food. And I think the thing, though, that makes this game even more so special is the fact that you can go out and explore a much broader world. It's not all just focused on your ranch. There's this entire planet for you to explore in different areas to unlock and discover. There are even locked doors where you'll have to find keys for and little mini puzzles that you'll have to solve in order to get to the next area. It is so cool just how many things there are to do and how many things there are to discover. This is the type of game that you can easily get lost in for 10, 20, 30 plus hours just exploring the world itself. I really like that, that it's not just about farming slimes. Having said that, I was disappointed by the fact that there wasn't really a threat out there in the world. I was kind of expecting, since I have a health bar, for there to be some sort of maybe a boss fight or a challenge, but really the only challenge that you will face are feral slimes, which don't hurt you that much or TARS, which are basically evil slimes that are easy to disperse of. There isn't really a threat in this world that is significant, so I was kind of disappointed by that, but it's not a big deal. But what was a big deal to me was the fact that this game, when it comes to its performance, starts off really good, but as you accrue more and more slimes in your ranch, and your ranch becomes bigger and with a lot more items and a lot more things that are going on at once, the performance in the game itself takes a huge dive. 
the frame rate will severely drop. It'll start to get laggy. And when you have a bunch of slimes on screen, the game just can't seem to handle it. it. This is true even on the Xbox One X, which I played on, but my wife has been playing this game on the Xbox One S, and it's even worse. Now, I don't know how this game performs on PC, but on the Xbox side of things, be prepared for some lag and frame rate issues. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely there and it's definitely noticeable as you continue to grow your ranch. So let's go ahead now and give this game its grade. And I do letter grades, A being the best, F being the worst, and Slime Rancher should probably get somewhere around the B plus range. But due to the fact that it gave me some awesome mini stories that I wasn't expecting and I feel like it went the extra mile in this game, I am giving Slime Rancher an A- minus because it was just that fun and I really appreciate all the time and effort that you could easily tell that went into this type of game. Alright guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I do overrated reviews all the time on here. I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout, and I will see you guys on the next overrated video. Have a good one.